Hello, welcome to Death's Door, episode 18. Uh, we are finishing off the game, and there's not too much to do, but I just, I want to jump right into it. Uh, so, your human tip is just make sure to take care of yourself. You know, this time of year, people get busy, people get stressed, but just make sure to take some time and really take care of yourself once in a while. So... What we have to do here, um, is there's these little pink ghost things, and we have to lead them to these little statues, and make sure they go into the keyholes. I don't exactly know why we have to do this, but I guess it's just something that he's doing, so. Here we go. There's two. I believe... I don't know if there's like ten or eight of them that need to get done, but, uh, they just go in on their own. There were none down there, so we'll have to look someplace else. I'm sure there's some up this way. It's it's so eerie now that there's no... No... Oh, hello. There's no music. It's all just silent and eerie. We'll go talk to uh, Stedman in a second. Okay, so there's one right here. Here we go. Come on now. You can actually hit them. Hit them back. Which is a little mean, but... Oh, now you don't want to come. Let's go. There you are. So that's four? Five, maybe? I don't know. I'm not good at counting. Evening, Reaper. I don't really sleep anymore. I lie here each night, wondering how it would feel to no longer be living. If we were dead, would we even know? I lost a dear friend long ago and buried him under the moon's light. Ever since that day, I have felt a piece of myself lost. I wonder if I could ever feel whole again. Maybe. Okay, we have another one right here. And usually, here we go. The ghosts usually uh, stay pretty close to their uh, to where they're supposed to go. All right, there you go. Okay, there's another one right here. Now, where are you supposed to go? Right here. I know I'm not really explaining much, but to be honest, there's not much I can actually explain. You kind of just have to go along with it. Okay, so this is the last one. And I think... You're probably supposed to go somewhere down here. Yep. I have to make sure you follow me first. There you are. This door should now be open. It's kind of awkward with me being right here. Come on. You have acquired an ancient tablet of knowledge. You feel its eye gazing into your soul. Now, that does not go into our collection of shiny things. Because that is used for a different purpose. That you shall see soon. Some of you may remember we were not able to light these before. But now, since there's no wind, they don't go out. We do get a bit of music here, though, which is nice. That's the second one done. How about a third? There we go. So you can see here there's three more we need to light to now open this door. There also appears to be uh, an owl here, based on all the 
uh, hooting. Okay, there's so one over there. Oh, and another right here. Okay. So that's four. Five is over there. That's five. There are actual enemies here still. Although they don't seem too much of a problem. Oh, not you. Wow, you died fairly quickly, actually. That was faster than I expected. And there's this again. There we go. I was gonna say, I guess uh, upgrading strengthfully has its benefits. Oh, great. One of these. I can't remember if this was here originally, or this is something new added from uh, the darkness. Regardless, it's dead. Oh, here's the owl. Hello. You are a lot bigger than me. You have acquired a shard of an ancient tablet of knowledge. It is incomplete, yet you feel a mysterious energy coursing through it. So I guess we have to get the other pieces to fully complete it. I just noticed there's actually a hidden staircase behind here. I didn't notice this the first time. Whoa. found a mysterious locket. Some kind of soul energy swirls within it. Interesting. Huh. So there's a grave there. Uh, mysterious locket. This locket hums with a powerful energy, as if part of a living soul is trapped inside. Perhaps the owner would like it back. Oh, look at that. That's, uh, that's Steadhone and a little dog. That must be, um, that must be the friend he buried. Oh, there it is. There is six right there, and that should be all of them. Yep. Here we go. There's uh, another tablet. Our right, ancient tablet of knowledge. You feel its eye gazing into your soul. All right, so that's that's two tablets, and then um, we know there's one where it's broken, so we have to get all the pieces for it. I could be wrong, but I do believe that there is eight tablets in total. I was hesitant at first to reveal how many tablets there were, but at this point, it's like the end of the game. The main story is already through, so spoilers aren't really that much of a problem anymore. And I'm doing all of this uh, for the purpose of um, this is how you unlock the true ending, actually. Because we've done the real ending, but now it's the, uh, the true ending. I mean, not that this is a surprise to anyone, but... Ted? Teddy? Is that you? Oh! Oh no! You've caught me with my two-legged trousers down, so to speak. Yes, that's right. I am not a humanoid, as, as I have led everyone to believe. Please don't tell the others. Perhaps it can be our secret. Though I hope you're better at keeping secrets than I am. Tell you what, keep this between us and I can show you the biggest secret of all. Let's go. Alright, two legs, let's head east of the domain of the late Frog King. We got a squid on our backs, everybody. And, uh, what makes this part fun is, uh... Oh, I can't go in there. We'll have to travel on foot. 
Those are feet, right? Yep. So, uh, yeah. You can't use doors. So we have to walk all the way to the Frog King's domain on foot. How exciting to be out on an adventure. I can feel the blood coursing through my appendages. Very good. I like the squid noises when we roll. This is not the right way. If those two legs of yours get tired, you can take me back to my tank. Ironically, this part is the least difficult, but will probably take the most time. Because all you have to do, it's just a lot of walking. And this is the part of the playthrough where I really regret not upgrading haste. I really should have done it, and yet I didn't. Well, this is a spooky place. I think I saw a ghost. Well, you shouldn't have, because I got rid of all of them. Although, the things... Yeah, they're still glowing, so... Steadhone's gone. That's interesting. Uh, we need to go... Back to... Or, I don't know if it's ever given a name. The creature that, um... You have to use to get to the, uh, overgrown ruins. The one that goes upside down. Here, yes, this one. I don't know if it's actually ever given a name. What a lovely night for a romantic gondola ride. Uh, I don't... I don't know about that. I wouldn't call it romantic. This is fun. I hope I don't die. Oof. That thing almost took off a limb. And here's the fun part. If I die with Jefferson, I have to go all the way back and do it all over again. So hopefully, I don't die. Because that would be devastating if I did. You can actually take a shortcut through here, thankfully. And this will grant us the ability to skip uh, like a minute or so of walking. At least, though these things don't exist. Ack, I hope you know what you're doing here. Yes, I do. I'm just not being very careful about it. Although I probably should, because I don't want to walk all the way back here. I've already committed so much time to this. Ah, uh, remember here, the flooded fortress? We're almost there. Keep your eye membranes open and look for guidance from the moon. Eye membranes? What is that supposed to mean? The spirit world is closely tied to the moon. The moon's light will guide us towards our destination. Well, I suppose you're not wrong. It felt like so long ago that I was yelling at all my viewers, being mad at them because of something stupid I did. I don't even remember what it was. I think I died or something, and I was mad. But, oh, that was so long ago. Memories. The music's picking up a little bit, that's interesting. This is, uh, this is a long journey here. You're probably not gonna see most of it, but it's a couple minutes of just walking, and we've arrived at our destination. Just a little more, and here we are. We're here! I will call upon the spirits to show us their secrets. Spirit of the Depths. Please show us your treasures. It's the Squid God. Landwalker. Take with you this gift from the depth. May the tendrils of truth guide you on your journey. In your journey. Well, that was a fun adventure, my bipedal companion. If you ever want to go for another evening stroll, you know where to find me. Alright then. Ancient tablet, eye gaze. Yep, 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 yep. I know we were just over here, but there's another thing that we have yet to do. Let's see, there's a chest here. And you might recall what fills these chests. And if you don't, this animation might help you out.
It's been a little bit, hasn't it? Let's go in one more time. There's a fourth. An avarice, not adverse, as I foolishly said. Because I don't know how to say things. Look at all these. There's so many of them. Okay, here's the hard part. There we go. That's one down. Oh no. That's not good. That's not either. Alright. Cool. This might take a bit. Alright, this is going to be a lot harder than... Okay. I mean, I'm dead. Yep, there we go. I was not prepared to go into a fight. I guess I have to actually try. I forgot they get harder <laughs> as time goes on. Change out the way. There we go. Alright, no damage taken. hits on you. There we go. That's dead. That's really good. Really good, actually. What's not really good is the fact that I'm almost dead with these. Come on. There you go. Okay, that's that's gone. It's easy. That's new. Oh, and great, the big spiders. Remember these? Oh, wow. They hurt. They hurt a lot. Okay, I'm dead. almost dead. Okay, that's dead. I don't know what's here. A lot, apparently. Okay, that's dead. That's dead. There's so much here. Jeez. Okay, that's dead. to take out you. You're important. Okay. Is this just one more? There we go. Okay. Second try. Not too bad. That one, that got my uh, heart racing a little bit. But, it's over. The fifth avarice is done. Oh, boy. A little scary. I think I, after that, I feel a little more than an eye gazing. I think I feel like a, there's a demon. There you are. Another uh, piece, which means we have one left to go. Ah, the simple joy of TV. Some say it's not good for you to watch it all the time. But you've got to allow yourself a reward now and again. Just like my human tip at the start of the episode. Deadlines. Work orders. Giant squid? Question mark? No, okay. Well, unless I upgrade Dexterity and save for 1500, the really only thing I can do is upgrade Haste. And it'll save me time, so I guess I will. Is that it? Alright, I guess you're just sleeping. All the other ones are gone. Quite late for an adventure, eh? 
I couldn't sleep myself. I'm too excited at all the prospects of the future. The air tonight has an extra fresh quality about it, don't you think? I suppose so. Well, uh, I'm going to leave it off here. But we collected four tablets. Uh, I guess there's only seven then. Well, in the next episode, we'll, we will collect the final three and hopefully finish the game in the last episode of Death's Door. And unlock the true ending. But until then, I will see you in the next episode. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>